How to take it slow after going too fast. Hi everyone, I'm Apolonia Ponte. I am your dating and relationship coach for you men to master your attraction skills, build the confidence overall to get the love lives that you desire or dating life that you desire. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about something very tailored that it was actually in the comment section and I wanted to do a video for you guys. Um, a lot of times when relationships first are taken really, really fast is because of the fact that one, it's a big endorphin rush and it's something that we are become addicted to. Number two, it's because we're also seeking maybe a relationship or attention or companionship so much that we forget that there is a natural pace in a relationship. And typically when things happen too fast, really 90, maybe 95% of the time, it doesn't really end up working out. And the reason being is because it's not sustainable. It's not natural. And typically what happens is there's an endorphin rush, but then when reality sets in, it's kind of like you have to retract and go back to what's normal. But if you haven't experienced something normal, it's hard to go back to that if you don't even know that existed in the first place with that person. So that's why I always talk about attraction is pacing yourself. Now there's nothing wrong in maybe getting to know a girl, meeting her, and maybe you guys slept together, but then pulling back on you know, that first night, but then also showing her that you're gonna take her on a date probably next Friday, but not spending every waking minute with her after that moment. There's a significant difference in that process. So the biggest thing in this question I wanna to answer too is in order to take it slow after going fast, like how do you retract Apollonia? Like how do you just kind of come back after this? Here's the thing I have to tell you guys. It's when something in a fast relationship happens like this, which I call the lustful relationships, is you have to pull back no matter what. You've got to pull back and get into an avenue that you were in before, right? So meaning continuing to do your own personal um, work or uh, going back into you know playing whatever you do, golfing or going back to your baseball team and really getting involved in that and making sure that you retract back and make sure your priorities are in line. Now, one of the biggest things too, before you get there is in order, is if this woman has pushed you away, let's just say, because she's like, oh gosh, we're just moving too fast and this all just happened too fast, this is too scary, blah, blah, blah. Typically there's a rise of emotions. Either you got emotional with her and you wanted something very fast and you gotta retract. You gotta ask yourself, why am I forcing a relationship onto someone or asking a relationship onto someone that I barely even know as a woman? So what happens here is it shows me as a woman or that woman that you're dating, that you don't have standards and that it's just easy. Maybe you're like this with other girls and there's no really value in being with you because you haven't showcased the value for us yet. I know sometimes that's hard to hear, but it's really the truth, guys. And what I want you to understand a little bit more into how to recover after this is you really gotta move on. It's not saying that you're not gonna be with this woman again, but you gotta move on in the attachment stage, right? So you gotta figure out your attachment style if you attach to women quickly, which I talk about a book a lot and it's called Attached. I really encourage you to sell, uh, study the attachment styles and I also talk about that in my Overcoming My Neediness, Overcoming Your Neediness, excuse me, um, Insecurities and Fears seminar, audio seminar, which is down below in the link. But one of the biggest things here is understanding that you mentally have to give up on this woman in order to take it back slow. Because when you're going into something so hot and heavy, lustful and fast, it's because you didn't have any breaks. So now you gotta retrain yourself and put those breaks back on. And how do you put the breaks back on? You diminish the situation. You release attachment and you release expectations of an outcome with this woman. And then you naturally, slowly start to poke in there and court her back again and do things in the process and do things in the pace and take your time without forgetting who you are, your goals, your day-to-day -day activities. Then there can be a situation where a woman will even ask you, or maybe even shit test you about this, right? Well, all of a sudden you found you, you were interested two weeks ago and now like all of a sudden you're just ghosted me and, or you're not paying attention to me or, you know, um, and now you're asking me out on a date after a week has gone by and whatever they might say, right? I can go on. But the thing here is like, there's so much integrity when you voice your truth 
and be assertive with women. And this is what a lot of men are typically scared of because they don't want to be needy or they don't want to come off as a disrespectful guy, which I would never encourage you to do. But when you say what's on your truth with respect and what's on your mind with respect, it comes off as assertive. And you can say something simply like this. Listen, it wasn't not like me to take it that fast and I really want to get to know you and I know that in order to get to know you, it's going to take time. I enjoy your company and that's why I continue to ask you out and if you want to do this with me, let's do it. And that's it. You're saying exactly what's on your mind, but you're also coming from a respectful demeanor, but also you know what you want. It's the man with the plan mentality that I talk about. And I talk about two of my boot camps, the three P's that a man must have. And that's something that is so vital in today's world when it comes to attracting women. If you liked today's video, I encourage you to give it a thumbs up. And as always, comment below as I love hearing from you. And I'll see you again in the next video. And remember, you are always loved. Bye for now. Thank you.